Dad? Oh, oh shit. Hi, guys. Welcome to Leave Reacts. I hope everyone's having a good day. I know I am. We are back with a request video from a Mr. John W. Thank you, John, for your support. Uh, it's so needed. You have no idea. And seriously, y'all are literally saving my ass. It's not even funny. But um, from the bottom of my heart, thank you. Like, no lie. <laughs> it's really hard right now. But well, we're going to be listening to a new band that I have never heard of. I've seen their name before, I think, in like the top prog bands of back in the day. But it is called Hawkwind. Uh, they look like they're kind of trippy looking from the album cover. So maybe they're a little more out there than usual. But hey, I'm with it. Y'all know I'll listen to anything. I don't care. The song is called Earth Calling Slash Born to Go Live. And uh, we're going to hop right in, guys. Let's do it. If you guys aren't subscribed, please help a brother out. Click the icon right down there. Right down there. It takes like two seconds, it's absolutely free, and uh, it really helps the channel out. Y'all have no idea, it really does. Oh, some titties, nice. What's up, baby? All right, here we go. It's from the album Space Ritual. Hawkwind, Earth Calling, Born to Go. Three, two, one, hit it. Some tantric shit, let's get it, baby. That is an awesome album cover. I shouldn't have eaten that edible earlier. Fuck me, bro. That's where I just heard a cat meowing. hear a lot of proto genres in this like a little bit of like a little bit of proto trance I think John said that in his message too I definitely hear that it's a lot of atmospheric electronics and shit that's crazy <laughs> this is from back in the day the theremin fuck yeah Well, I definitely hear the funk already too, like John said. Well, that's crazy. Ooh, nice transition. That was good. It has some Black Sabbath in the riff too, definitely. like some trance acid funk bro <laughs> I love that it's such a good little section right there What year is this from? I don't even check. Is it like late 70s? I'm guessing. I hear some like Caius in that too, like literally some desert stoner rock shit. Uh, I'm always air drumming and y'all never see it. 
you see my arms probably moving like this, probably think I'm jerking off. This Bro, Queens of the Stone Age fucking totally ripped these guys off, bro. <laughs> 100%. Oh, they were very inspired by it. That bass is sick. Bro, the groove in this is like undeniable. That's crazy. It kind of transitioned out like the punk sound into something different now. It was really like the vocals and the drumming it was very punkish. Now it's changed, Alec. This is cool. Go ahead, dude. He's going crazy. I hear Tool in this too, bro. I hear so many bands in this. I guess Hawkwind is a big inspiration for a lot of them. Oh my god. Wait, this is live? I just realized that. This sounds great, bro. I forgot. <laughs> oh my god, yo. They were just going crazy. That was nuts. They still are, honestly. Bro, what an outro. Oh, I thought it was going to the next part. My mind. Drummer's been so, he's been like so fast paced this entire song. The tempo's been crazy. <laughs> this music's very exciting. <laughs> I don't know what else to say. That sounds awesome. Dude, they use like the analog effects so well, like they use it to their effect so well. There you go. 
dude, this song is... <laughs> wow, this is another fucking rabbit hole. God damn it. I really dig this. I really do. It's like psychedelic trance, punk, desert, stoner rock? I don't care, I love it. Good pick, John. This is great. Six minutes later. <laughs> I'm not like as well versed with like these types of I guess older bands um, I, all of my comparisons are gonna be more modern I guess but I definitely hear a lot of bands it's fantastic honestly I love it it's like a straight jam sesh bro I love it and just throwing all that trippy shit it's so good killer bass too absolutely <laughs> that is sick, dude. Wow, that was 11 minutes? Dude, that blew by. What the hell? Slow it down. <laughs> that is so fucking sick. Man, I wish it kept going, dude. <laughs> man, I don't know what it is with these older bands, dude. They just had the mojo, man. I See, there's not many modern bands that get me excited like that. Like That was like discovering, I don't know, like you just found 20 bucks on the side of the road, you know what I mean? Like That was like, holy shit, that's awesome, you know? I'm going to go buy like a Gatorade or something now. Um, yeah, that was fantastic. Um, I'll just get what I didn't really like as much, and that's probably because it's just a live recording, and it, I kind of felt like it wasn't really even the focus of the song, uh, the vocals. Um, I mean, I, it definitely was like punk vocals sounding to me, and uh, I don't know if it's because it's a live recording. They just didn't like sound the best to me. I think it definitely fit in with the song, though. But good God, the instrumentals, though, bro, that was awesome. Uh, hats off to the bassist, the guitar player, and the drummer. That was fantastic. And whoever was doing the keys and like the uh, effects and stuff, that's a nasty combo they got there, man. Because that bass player was uh, playing it like a like a guitar, basically. He was just in his own little world doing his thing, and uh, that was incredible. How he was basically backing everything up in the sound, but he was so in the front of the mix that it almost like overloads everything else. But it was so good that it didn't matter. Uh, that was great. Um, and that guitar solo in the middle, like the guitarist was just going crazy for like two, three minutes there, just. It's definitely like a psychedelic acid rock kind of sort of solo, you know, that goes on for like two minutes and he's just, you know, and I think I love those. Those are cool. Uh, I definitely um, heard a lot of Caius, like I said, in it, Queens of the Stone Age, a lot of like the more modern uh, stoner desert rock bands. Um, I don't know when exactly Hawkwind. I know they're from the 70s. I don't know when exactly this is from. But oh, I like I also heard Tool in there and some of the bass riffs and some of the effects and stuff. Um, definitely, this is a band that has been pilfered a lot. I, I'm feeling by the modern era because uh, what an incredible, like varied sound. Like that was like four different bands in one in that song. You know what I'm saying? If you you know like what I'm saying, like I don't even know how to explain it. Like they had so many different genres they were bending there. Like that was even beyond prog. I feel like, like prog will like do two or three genres. You know what I'm saying? That was like five genres in one. And 
they executed it perfectly. I feel like it started off as one, transitioned to another, like definitely at the punk, the trance sort of a beginning. Uh, more of like a prog rock, desert rock middle, and then that stoner rock soul. Like it's just so many different. That was really good. I think they wrapped up a lot in 11 and a half minutes. Uh, and that was live too. I mean, halfway through, I'm like, holy shit, this sounds great. Like other than the vocals, the vocals a little weird, like a little shoddy, I guess. But other than that, like that was incredible. But I bet if I listened to like the studio version, the vocals would sound better to me. But at the same time, like I don't feel like they were the focus at all. That was definitely an instrumental like bass track, I think. And that was great. If you guys have any other tracks by Hawkwind, please leave them below. I will definitely check them out. That was incredible. Thank you again, John. Uh, what an experience right there, man. Um, I feel like I just discovered like a whole nother rabbit hole to go under. Like, I feel like, you know, there's some bands I listen to and I'm like, okay, yeah, this is great. I I'll definitely check them out. This feels like a band that I'm going to do next week or something because I want to hear more. I want to see what else they have to offer, man, because like I said, that was like five different genres in one song. I'm kind of like stupefied right now that they pulled that off, but they did. They did. They did. Um, anything else? My mouth is dry. I know that. Pumpkin bread edibles. Uh, I think that's it, guys. Thanks for watching. Uh, we have a Patreon right here. Go check it out. We just gained two new members today. Thank you very much, guys. If you are watching this video uh, somehow, you can message me whatever you want to message me for your request, and I'll get it done sometime this month. I've already, I actually have a long list of requests I got to get through now. Like, thank you so much, guys. Well, not a long list. I got like two or three after this, too, actually. Um, so if you have other requests, if y'all got it in you and you are willing to give it to your boy right here, I will do any song you want. I don't care. I am really hurting right now. My job is fucked, and uh, I'm fucked. Everything's fucked, but hey, I really appreciate it either way. Even if you're just watching, you're just stopping by, hit that like video, hit the like video, hit that like button, hit the subscribe, you know what I'm saying? It definitely helps the channel out. And if you want to send a request um, or just do a donation to throw your boy a couple bucks because you did a good job, right there. That's the PayPal. Send it in there. I will get it done as soon as I can. Uh, tomorrow is Sunday. I'm going to spend some time with my family for the first time in two weeks. Um, it's been a while since I've seen them, so I'm very excited. Um, I think I literally have exactly enough to get down there with an Uber. I don't know how I'm going to get back, but hey, I don't even care at this point. I'll figure it out. Um, I just need to see my babies. It's, it's literally been too long. And uh, I, hopefully um, I'll have this video premiere, obviously, in the morning. And then when I get back, I will do the other requests. So thanks for watching, guys. Thanks for putting up with me and uh, helping me out. <laughs> you guys have no idea. I, don't, I literally would not be able to survive without you guys. I wouldn't be able to send money to my kids and help them with anything like Seriously, you guys are literally helping me so much. And um, thank you for watching. I really appreciate it. Have a wonderful day. Bye-bye. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Woo!